I'm back. This took a little bit longer than I thought to set up, but I just want to go over this real quick. This is wire. I mean, I have speaker wire on my headphones that are thicker than this stuff. This stuff here, oh God, it's just, just awful. So, got it all set up here. Didn't come with a mic, but I had one that would work for it. So this, uh, it's my old trusty Courier CMM1. One of the best ones to hold. The way you can hold it is it's great. Um, anyway, so we got it all set up. Got the voltmeter, a frequency counter, and power meter somewhat. Um, of course, this is not a real test bench. I'm not saying it is. Goodness, that's uh, far from the case. So I just wanted to go over here real quick. So I got the band in high. And I got, let's see, okay, so we're on channel one. That's two, six, nine, six, you know, five, of course. Let's see if that clarifier is unlocked. Usually what happens on these things. Six, four. Okay, so no one did unlock the clarifier. That's one thing you don't have to worry about. Let's see if that changes frequency. Nope, good. So switches are kind of what they should be. So we're looking what? A five watt scale, we're down to one and a half. Shoot, we're not even down that. Well, yeah, about one and a half, it looks like. So, anyway, not a lot of power going on here. So, let me just make sure we're when we jump. Okay, nine and eight. Oh, four, four. That's weird. Why would that be? Nine six. I should change it. There we go. So we're over five. Oh one five. Yeah, it needs just a little bit of alignment. That's not bad. So we're yeah, that's channel six. So this thing is is nice. Without without the mic in it, you're not going to get anything. Gotta have the mic hooked up. Gonna definitely have to upgrade these power wires. This is this is just this is just unbelievable. It's probably why you're not getting any power to it. I mean, you couldn't get thinner wire. I mean, this is anyway. So let's get the volume down here. Um, just real quick, Ron. Since we're doing that, we can do. Let's do let's do a lower uh, sideband test here and just see what kind of power we got coming up out here we're just on a five watt we may not even max out the five watt scale the way this is set oh well we did so that worked let's go up again okay so we're about 10 12 that's about what it needs to be okay good let's just mic on high and see if that changes anything about the same on that okay so that's kind of neat we got a volume up here upper same thing should be yeah we're right there not not a powerhouse but what i like about this channel is a real nice tight you can tell it's an older school knob but uh, let's see what we got on channel 40. Let's go back to AM just to see. Yeah, we're not even maxing that out. So yeah, we're still about one and a half watts. It's a side band. Yeah, okay. Same thing. Yep. All right, so that's pretty much everything there. And then, you know, you, you can change it even more. <laughs> 41. 41. <laughs> 41. 42. What? 45, 46. So you got a little dirt right there. See how that LED fluctuates. 50. Well, that seems goofy. Yeah. Right there, 2750. 
well, four or five, but it could be five or five. <laughs> so, without doing anything, we already up at channel 50. 52? How, far, how, how many does this go to? 99? It goes to 60, doesn't it? Yep, 60. That's what I read up on. Out of the out of the gate. Yep. That's where we're at. That's crazy. That thing's still probably putting out. Yeah, I mean it's not it doesn't have much on that scale here. Yeah, we're you know one and a half watts on AM. Ch Sixty channel radio. So it's like the band is already in high mode because I guess you don't really need it because you're. You know, you're already up. You get, you got one. You know, channel one all the way to channel sixty. So that'd be your, you know, normal frequencies. I usually don't go above sixty anyway. Um, as far as monitoring, there's not much up there anyway. Um, but uh, that's pretty cool. Like uh, you don't miss any of these frequencies here. I don't believe because they should all be in step. So. I, mean, I know a lot of times when you get back down into these lowers, you got to worry about the jump in between 3 and 4, uh, 7 and 8, 11 and 12. Um, and you have, what, 15A, so that's another one. So, and the 19A, like all those would jump. So when you have these channels, you get 40, you get 41, you get 42, you get 43, then it would skip... 44 and then you get 45 so that one here we're getting we're getting it right on and we're right through so all these are directly yep there it is we didn't lose anything so channel here is a channel here that's that's awesome so yes yeah, Cobra 148 GTL B So, we got one through 60 off the rip, no switch changes. And that band is on high, though. So, that seems to be the only switch that's uh, that gets moved around and actually becomes something different. Let me just make sure that I'm not telling a lie here. So, we're on 60. Going through a dummy load's so not a big deal. Yeah, so that's what exactly what that is. So, this thing is going straight off the gate one through 60. So what happens if we go channel 60 and then we go to the low side? So I guess we got more lows than we do high because now we have the option to go 60 below on this supposedly, depending on how this works. Um, so if we key up here, where does it take us? So we're still 2.7. Now we're back. Okay, so we're nine five. Okay, so it starts off and works its way down from channel one. So we're on, yeah, nine five four because a regular CB. If we go one, you see that'll be two six nine six. So if we go there, this is. So that picks up right after channel one. So we're starting here and working our way down. Um, so that's cool. So let's see where we end up. If we go all the way down to one, because we already know we have coverage from channel one all the way up to channel 60, uh, unofficial 60, 605. Um, so now we're on channel one on the low side. So this is the lowest this radio will go is Two six three one five, okay. So it's three one five, and then up on there sixty eight brings us right below channel one. Right there, we'll go up. So we have two six three one five as our very low channel, and our very high channel, off the gate, twenty seven six zero five. So this isn't bad for a 1983, I want to say 83, maybe in between 82, 83, that this, this unit started coming into fruition. I have not seen any 
Um, there's a couple of YouTube videos on them, not many, um, that this thing has been exported from Japan, and I've seen a lot in Brazil and other foreign countries, but one in the States here, I haven't. So what I'm going to do is I know we did, that thing got repurposed, so the tone control is probably either tied low or tied high. And uh, I'm going to see what's going on inside this, uh, inside this radio and see how bad the work is. Um, what I think is in here is 1969s. I think that's the finals in these, is the, uh, 1969. Um, so we'll see what, uh, what kind of coolness this thing is inside it, but uh, we'll be back.